Blessings. Blessings, you beautiful souls, you mythical creatures. Oh, well, I'm glad that you were here, Misha. Um, let me read y'all this passage that I'm looking at from this book. Um, this book is called God Man, the Word Made Flesh. Okay. Yes, blessings, blessings. Thank y'all for being here. Um, this live is probably going to be about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, we have some important things to talk about, but this is like just part one because I have like a list of important things we need to talk about. So this might need to be like a three part live. Um, I don't know when the other t lives are going to be, but um, let's just get this started right now. Okay. So um, this is called the physiological statement. Okay, extract from a paper by Professor, Professor Smiley. Okay, the sacral region of man's body near the base of the spinal column is a gland larger than a hen's egg of spongy character and into which is secreted from the blood a small amount of oil at the same time that the blood throws out refuse into the bladder now just pay just I got I have to read you this next uh, part exceedingly little has been known to physiologists about this gland or about the purpose of the secretion except that in elderly man it often becomes the seat of a disease called prostitis in that in young men of dissolute habits the secretion becomes filthy this gland is known in the east as the kundalini hello <clears throat> and in the new testament greek as the cardia so what i just described to you was the kundalini and that gland that's larger than a hen's egg that oil it comes up your electro vein, electric vein, your magnetic vein. It's the electromagnetic wave that goes up to your pineal gland, and then it becomes electrically charged, and it becomes a spark of light. That's why your optic thalamus, your pineal gland, is called the light of the world. Okay, so how do you get access to this? Well, y'all. If if you can take anything from this short live today, is you have to meditate. People always ask me, how do I how do I get these downloads? Like how do I um, have better dreams? Y'all, you have to meditate. You have to decalcify your pineal gland. One way to decalcify your pineal gland is go and look at your toothpaste and make sure that your toothpaste does not have fluoride in it. Okay, make sure that your food doesn't have any ingredients like maltodextrin because those additives are intended to make it appear to the pineal gland. Side note, the jab, the intention of the jab ultimately was to make it to your pineal gland. Um, because the pineal gland, it not only secretes your melatonin, your melanin, it secretes your pine. It secretes your dimethyltryptamine, which is the reason you dream, right? It's it slow drips dimethyltryptamine throughout your day. The dimethyltryptamine is the reason that you are experiencing reality in the way that you do. So if they take over your pineal gland, they can control what you see. They can control your reality. So is it is your job to guard the subconscious mind. It is your guard. It is your job to guard the pineal gland when you when you look at food with this is not even what I wanted to talk about today this is crazy but hey you make a plan and I guess you're just guided to what needs to be said um, so when you look at the ingredients on food those like the the words that end with like phosphate and like all the words you cannot pronounce that has like methyl in it 
those are meant to make it up here and so people wonder why when they when they take like red dye number 40 they have they develop mental problems right um, what are they up to with the lab mosquitoes now what do mosquitoes do mosquitoes they inject your skin now imagine if they were to load mechanical mosquitoes with just a small injection of something and they release those mosquitoes to go out and start to jab people. Is Damon same as soul in essence or pineal gland? I don't know what that means. Um, so this is funny. This is not even what I talk. What I wanted to talk about today. Um, all the hot Cheeto eaters. What? Um, they released mosquitoes in L.A. already. Yeah, they did. Um, mosquitoes are literally population control. Y'all saw that talk with Bill Gates back in 2015, when he was talking about releasing the mosquitoes and correlation oh yeah okay from the red dye 40 the hot cheeto eaters exactly that's a fact so the mosquitoes being released and now you have these like mysterious disease popping up like in la people are sick like everywhere like one of my side hustles i have to go and do groceries for people and i'm buying the same thing like sick kits for people you know what i'm saying so what i'm seeing is a lot of people coughing a lot of people um becoming under the weather and it is um sickness is not natural it has to be administered that's why you have most people get sick when they eat something and that food is tampered with or um, viruses don't just live in the air like you were taught like you ha it has to be come in contact with your body by a medium like by way of something um, they released a post about it that they were going to release the mosquitoes in the south central area and no one believed it I believe it I believe it the mosquitoes are a way of like it's a bioweapon it's a bioweapon now here's another thing I have been talking about crows for a while now and I don't know if nobody else is just paying attention now actually no people have been actually people have been sending me like messages about the crows now um, y'all Blessings, Jamie. Blessings, Emily. I see you. These cr these crows, like, um, I'm used to seeing, like, American birds, some canaries, like, hawks, and these things. Um, even seagulls, which I've always wondered about seagulls. Anyway, um, but I've been seeing crows everywhere, like an influx of crows, unnaturally. Um, I've been to California, like I said, for about, like, seven or something years. I've never seen this many crows like and their their call like the car that is jarring like it 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 shakes you you know what i'm saying so knowing that they have the technology to bro know that they have the technology to control a fly imagine what they can do with crows so the reason that you all have been seeing an unusual amount of crows and coincidentally a, cr a group of crows is called a murder so it's like I don't know it's like having all these crows in the air it's like having murder in the air you know what I'm saying like so I, I just don't I don't know it, it's it's too I I feel like now I, I have not done the conducted the test to, to prove this theory but I believe that if you were to test the frequency of the of a crow's caw then it would register at a lower frequency because when you hear it, how does it feel to your body? When you hear 432 hertz, when you hear like certain frequencies, it feels a certain way to your body. When you go, I got Beethoven on in the background right now. And one of the reasons why I listen to Beethoven when I'm doing these lives, like 
and other types of music is because it keeps me calm. And I listen to this type of music throughout the day because frequency controls your breathing, controls your thoughts, controls your reality. They know this. So why would they release all of these crows into the, you know, into nature calling all day, like from 4 a.m. to like 4 p.m. These crows are calling and I've never experienced this in my life. And if those cause register at a low frequency then imagine what it's doing to people the mental state the etheric state the physical state the emotional state that is putting people in on all levels you know that's actually what not what i wanted to talk about today so um the thing i actually did want to talk about today was i don't i don't think i'm going to be able to fit in this live because i only got like 12 more minutes I'm going to stop this live at eight, but one thing I want to talk about today was the influx of immigrants. Now, damn, how many days they've been going? Yo, the crows, I've been noticing the crows since I came back to California. Um, Actually, no, it started, I think, like maybe like six months ago, just nonstop. Um, But okay, so the 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 words I'm about to say to describe the situation is not meant to be harmful to anybody who is um, an immigrant or has immigrant families. Okay, all right. So, what what are going to be the what are the ramifications of the border um, being tampered with? Right, like what are the going to be the end results? Well. It's a known um, circulating fact, I guess you can say, based off of empirical evidence that when an empire reaches 250 years, the empire, that foundation starts to shake and crumble. America is at that threshold. And it used to be a, a reward. Like you have to, you would have to enter like the lottery and you know, win a, a slot to America. But now immigrants are being let in freely. They're being trained. I believe they're being trained to vote for Joe Biden and they're being trained to incite a civil war. Also, they have given these immigrants the rights to become police officers and own firearms. And now this part is really crazy. They have no money for homeless people. They have no money for, you know, quote unquote reparations, even though like I got my own thoughts and opinions about that. Um, They have no money for all these initiatives that would greatly benefit the United States and help us align with the trajectory that would even out the class system. You know what I'm saying? So the class system is not unbalanced because right now it's extremely unbalanced. We all know that it's apparent from not only here, for everywhere. Look at the speech that the El Salvadorian president just released about America, the Fed printing money from nowhere and how we are paying taxes for nothing. Right. That's go. Go find the speech from the El Salvadorian president. He just went off on America. OK, so. What's going to happen is you already seeing these immigrants starting to attack the NYPD. Gang violence is going up. Um, Sexual assault is is going to go up because what happens is that these immigrants come in and all they have to go, all they have to do is go to Home Depot and somebody who's building a new construction site is going to go scoop them up and that's how they... They can do that for like a year straight and find their way in the system and nobody's going to know anything because the system is broken. And so these immigrants come in and then it becomes a unvoiced competition between the immigrants and minority groups in this country. In the past, the black and brown people used to be pinned against each other. So why do you think the immigrants won't just repair their home and land instead of coming here? They're being incentivized to come here. 
they're being incentivized to come here. Yes, one murdered a college girl in Georgia this month. See? See? Like, crime rate going up. Domestic violence going up because empirically it's been proven that certain racial groups participate in domestic violence more than others. So domestic violence rates will go up. Um, now, here's the thing, the important thing. Y'all remember the factory fires? Do y'all remember the train wrecks? Do y'all remember all of these different incidents that greatly reduced our supply? So if the supply is going down, but the population is going up, what do you think is going to happen to the resources? Hello? It's strategic. They want to starve people out, bro. All they have to do is f find a way to s to mess up the trucking <clears throat> the trucking system. If the trucker stop working for a day or like a week, where's the food? How's the food going to come in? How's the food going to come in? Y'all saw when the tra when the truckers went on strike, how fast did your store run out of water and food? You know? I'm sad you have to get off soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, real quick, Nate, real quick. So... It's a beautifully well-oiled mechanism inside of this machine because they keep you distracted on shit that means nothing, literally means nothing in your life. Why do you care about who won that reward? It serves you no purpose, bro. Album of the year is not paying your bills. So they keep you focused on certain things and then you go home you are distracted for the amount of time you free time that you have and then you go back and you work in the system so you have no time to rebel you have no time to think about how taxes is how taxes aren't right so the distraction is to keep you locked into the matrix so that you are locked into a certain frequency the food that you are eating lowers your frequency the chemtrails lowers your frequency the music lowers your frequency but guess what there's a silver lining all you have to do is find your power, meditate, eat better food, connect with the tribe, listen to better music, stop watching the Netflix shows about killing because it's lowering your frequency. Why do you care about a documentary about Jeffrey Epstein or Jeffrey Dahmer? Bro, do you really care about a man eating people? Or did you watch that because it's the hype on Twitter? So you have to guard not only what you eat, but what you mentally eat, what you let up here. You got it. This is your temple, bro. Imagine if you opened the golden dojo for a million dollars. Would you let anybody's dirty feet up in your dojo doing little roundhouse kicks, sprinkling little dirt in your dojo? No. So why would you let anybody's food up in up in here? You know? There was a time when the farmers were the celebrities because they provided the nourishment. Now it's backwards because the same person who owns the most farmland in the United States is divvying out the vaccines. Bro, what? What? What's going on? So we really need... Since Pluto's an Aquarius, we really need to find a way to um, look at what France is doing, look at what the Dutch is doing over in, um, I forget where it is, overseas somewhere. They have a whole revolution going on, and we're supposed to be a superpower. And we're just talking about Taco Tuesday while we're, while, while we're slowly getting killed by chemtrails, so... Um, you can't force people to wake up, but you can only give them the keys on how to find themselves and know themselves. So 
meditation is probably one of the best ways for you to know thyself because the micro improves the macro once you approve yourself internally on an individual level you contribute to the awakening of the collective you know and that's we need that like we need less celebrities and more healers and everybody in here the reason that you're here and you're attracted to my vibration is because you're on the same vibration so be the healer that your community needs bro we need you we need you to find yourself people are waiting on you <sighs> oh yeah last thing that i'll say before i get out of here or it probably won't be the last thing um but yes so that you all won't have to dm me my books are open but they're limited i am doing readings um And slots fill up fast. So if you want a reading, just for now, just DM me and I will send you my menu. Send you my menu and then we can work that way. Um, yeah, because me helping you to know, me helping you to know thyself looks like me reading your natal chart. Um, even if I don't read your natal chart, there's I know other people who are talented and we got the 5d readers who are about to get out of training ready to help you know thyself um the other things i want to talk about i don't want to just fit them in this last little segment but i'll i'll touch back on the immigrant thing y'all just stay vigilant especially if you live in texas georgia alabama mississippi here in Los Angeles because I've been seeing some um, different faces around here <clears throat> and what happens when you have people who come here with no resources the homeless population increases you know so y'all just stay stay aware um, okay and I'll I'll leave you with this the last thing I want to say is the moon is in Scorpio. The moon is in... Exactly, Jamie. Oh, Texas Panhandle is on fire. Oh, shit. Um, so, the last thing that I'll say is... Who did y'all think... Did y'all look at my story? Who did y'all think my story was about? You can't hide nothing from an astrologer. We see it all in your chart, baby. Um, for real. The last thing that I'll say is since Mercury, no, since the moon is in Scorpio, um, you might be feeling a few things. We have a Mercury Kazemi right now in Pisces. Okay, so I'll just explain these two things. We have a Mercury Kazim. Oh, hey, okay, my little detective. Okay, my little detective. Oh, that's right, leap day. Happy leap day, y'all. Um, okay, you know what? Let me go turn over this vinyl record, my Beethoven, and I'll give y'all like five more minutes, okay? Hold up, because my music stopped, so now I'm getting nervous. Okay, so yeah, happy leap day. Um, okay, so two things. Since we have a Mercury Kazemi, um, this might be the first time that you're actually hearing that word. Um, Kazemi, what does that mean? It means that the sun is highlighting the aspects of a Mercury in Pisces. So high in high-end communication with your ancestors y'all if you've been having 
I'll just I'll just explain an example from my life. If you have two t- morning doves, aka turtle doves, show up on your windowsill for, and chill out for like an hour or two, pay attention to that. If you have like your ancestors are going to speak to you in the best way that you can recognize. So a Mercury, Kazemi, and Pisces, Pisces is communication to alternate realms, to other dimensions, to other realities even. So not only are you having heightened communication with your ancestors, but your dreams increased lucidity. So uh, the tribe and I over on Patreon, we've been talking about how the the astral realm got a new operating system because the dreams that we've been that we were having like 10 20 years ago are not the same dreams we're having a day they're not the same dreams we're having a day what do you think caused the AT&T service to go down oh we don't got enough time for that <clears throat> that's a whole rabbit hole and it goes back a few years um think about the bomb that went off with AT&T that caused communications to go down. It's leaked. Anyway, um, I think that was in like 2020, 2021. Um, anyway, let me stop before I forget what I was talking about. Um, oh, yeah, Mercury Kazemi. So the astral realm has gotten like an upgrade because the lucidity in the astral realm today is like damn near like that unreal engine 5 that they are using in video games now to where it's like bro like where am i like why am i getting the same sensation that i'm getting from waking life now in my in my dreams you know what i'm saying like bef- like i have i have lucid dreams often but the lucidity is different so that is due to not only Neptune in Pisces, Saturn in Pisces, the Sun in Pisces, and Mercury in Pisces, but it's due to Mercury Kazemi in Pisces. Okay, so another thing <clears throat> is, oh, so many things to pick. Um, the last thing that I'll say is. Right now, if you are using like shrooms or any type of psychedelic, that experience would probably be like no other experience that you had in your entire life. I'm not telling you to go out and do it, my boy, my girl, my G. Let them find you. But if you were to do it, then it would probably be like the most amazing experience of your life. That is a Mercury Kazemi and Pisces. Now with the sun or no with the moon and scorpio you're probably feeling like i don't want to go outside today i don't want to be perceived today i just want to wear black and not talk to anybody and be able to make money i know you're probably feeling that way because of you know the moon's in scorpio so right now with the moon being in scorpio one thing that you can do to help your to help you feel more comfortable because the moon is your comfort level is if you're somebody that likes to wear black, put it on. Put it on. It's going to be more, it's going to have more of an allure to it today. Number two. Um, what the? Oh, yeah, because I did the peace sign. Um, number two. This would be the best time to take care of your taxes. Even though the whole taxes thing is about to be revamped. Because I don't see people paying taxes for much longer. It's not constitutional. Um, And the third thing is... Okay. So this one is the communication that you were having with the people around you. The eighth house is opposite the second house so the eighth house learns from the second house so the second house is your personal values the eighth house is the values of the people that you choose to spend your time with so right now since the moon's in scorpio you can analyze are your values connected to the values of the people in your circle if not then find a way to restructure the friend group maybe try to bring in some 
you know, some topics to see if your friends are interested in it. But if the vibrations are unbalanced, then you have to find a way to um, conjure in a group that's going to raise your vibration to new levels. Because if you want to make it to new test, that's going to like whenever you are getting new tests, just be grateful. Right. Because those new tests are getting you ready and prepare for a new level that you need in order to make it to the next milestone in your soul trajectory so you're going to need a friend group who can help to prepare you to pass those obstacles that you're going to need to for your soul to evolve so if the friends that you're with are challenging you mentally bro if you're not learning anything from them mentally if they're just complaining then they're anchors right you're going to drown so i'm not telling you to break up with your friends but it's inevitable Libra's conjunct the south node. Pluto's in Aquarius. There's a lot of friends that are splitting apart, and it's natural. It's natural. So, anyway, I have to go. Um, I have to go dance in the wood with fairies. Uh, I made an appointment for today. It's the only day I can get in. So, um, I hope y'all have a blessed human experience today. Um, oh, yeah. Another hour. I'll end with saying this, and I'll keep warning you, if you live by the mountains, if you live by the mountains, pay attention because the wind is not playing around. A monsoon is loading. Tsunami, emphasis on tsunami, loading. Tornadoes, loading. More dust storms, loading. All right, and keep your eyes on the Pacific Ocean, especially.